My name is Sean Mitten, President of the Canadian Expat Network, and very pleased to have Judith Fox Alder, the International Director of the Terry Fox Foundation and sister of the late Terry Fox with us today. The Terry Fox Annual Run will be held in cities all across Canada, Sunday, September 13th, so we thought this would be a great time to discuss the runs both in Canada as well as internationally. The presentation today will be in with some special pictures of Terry narrated by Judith. I'd now like to introduce Judith Fox, International Director of the Terry Fox Foundation. Judith, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me, Sean. It's great to be here. Great. Well, I, you know, most people are very familiar with all the runs that are happening across Canada. Um, additionally, they may not know about other things that the Terry Fox Foundation is doing for, for fundraising. Maybe you can share some of those things with us today. Sure. Well, what I can start with, actually, is um, something that we have that's called Terry Fox Works. Okay. And what it is is it's... Um, bringing Terry to the workplace. A lot of people can't make it out on Sundays to the run, and but they still would like to participate in some way. So we do different events in in-house at different corporations, and um, one, of the, one of the new or big things that people are doing are, is a head shave, and we call it the um, Real Canadian Head Shave, or the, sorry, the Great Canadian Head Shave, and the photos that I have coming up right now are photos of a family head shave that were taken um, in the fall of 2008, sorry, 2007. Um, all of us, as you can see, had um, got our heads shaved. And there's other events as well that, that are in the workplace, um, different baking, bake-off, waxings that are done. Instead of head shave, people will be waxed and whatnot. But um, on this particular event here that happened, I was really, really nervous about getting my head shaved, and especially because of Trevor, Trevor Linden with the Vancouver Connects. It was just a huge, huge day, and um, I was quite overwhelmed. And what ended up happening was I didn't get all of my hair shaved off. Okay. And um, so we ended up, uh, I went to Victoria, had a, a head shave as well, and Daryl Sittler happened to be there to um, finish the job. And that's funny because that's one thing that he did say is he wasn't surprised that they would have to take a send a, a maple leaf to Vancouver to finish a Canucks job. So <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was good. It was a lot of fun. And and Daryl Sittler lost his wife about nine or ten years ago now to cancer, and he is a huge Terry Fox supporter. So that's um just you know some of the things that are going on uh, across Canada. We have. Um, the National School Run Days as well, and just lots of different events that people are having. Um, skate-a-thons, that's actually why Trevor Linden, or sorry, Daryl Sittler was in Victoria, was for a Terry Fox Skate-a-thon. And um, so different, diff just all kinds of different ideas now, sure, apart Judith, from the run. Judith, which, uh, which city is this, this uh, statue in? This is Victoria. Um, okay. this, is, this was erected, I believe, in 2005, actually, sorry. Um, and it's what they call it uh, Mile Zero in okay. Victoria. So a lot of marathons go by here, and uh, you know, I've heard stories of people running by when they're doing their workout and touching Terry for inspiration on their way by. So now uh, yeah. I guess we'll see some unique pictures of Terry that maybe others haven't seen before. Right, exactly. These are just some photos that, that I put together of uh, my brother when when he was he was seven years older than me, and Fred is 14 months older than Terry. So they're just over a year apart, and um, these are just some really old photos going way back of the two boys together. Christmas, Mom, of course, dressed them the same. And we did have chores to do. <laughs> proof, proof that we, you know, a regular Canadian family had to help out around the house. That's great. All had things. Terry was a uh, played several sports: um, baseball, soccer, basketball. Once he got into grade eight, um, as well as rugby. And one one picture that I wish that we had had, um, that I'd had, is is road hockey. Road hockey was a huge thing in my family and in our neighborhood growing up. Huge, and a, huge sport. And a great Canadian pastime. It really is. It truly is, yeah. So, yeah. And there's the four of us, Terry, Daryl, Fred, and myself in the front. Nice picture. <laughs> and a little bit later on, 
Nice clothes they're wearing there. <laughs> um, sorry. This this photo is is of our backyard in Puerto Coelum. Um, I, I kind of bring this one up. It's a it's a reminder to me just sort of how uh, determined that Terry was and um, and how he always believed that he wasn't disabled. Um, that he was just like the rest of us, and, and he, this is before he had his leg amputated actually, but in the background there, there is a hedge, and once he had his leg amputated, he, it took him a long time to, to start to walk on his own, and he was very self-conscious about it, walked at night, and as he got um, better at it, they, you know, he went golfing with my dad, and one thing that I played ball as well, and very, very competitive family, and anything that we do is a huge competition, so Terry came outside and we started playing catch back and forth, and it just got harder and harder and harder throwing the ball to see who could throw it, you know, back at the other one as hard as he can, and one of my balls went wild and went underneath the hedge, and an instinct for me was to run in and get it for him so he didn't have to do it, and he, he just, I'll, I'll never forget how upset that he was that I w he thought that I would think that he wasn't capable of doing it. And so it was just another, um, just sort of another indication of how, how determined and um, dedicated he was to, to, you know, just being able to, to move on with his life. Yeah. Ter Terry was a huge jokester, <laughs> uh, total fun, just always joking around. And one of the favorite things that I like to talk about is, like, you'd be sitting on the couch, and all of a sudden he would just grab your nose with his <laughs> you know, thumb and finger and not let go. It was so ridiculous, but it was just funny because he would just do silly things like that. Or grocery shopping with my mom taking stuff out of the shopping carts and putting it back on shelves while she's, you know, totally oblivious to it. Um, this is a photo of Terry when he was in SFU, and uh, these are some of his wheelchair basketball trophies that, that were received. That shirt he has on, I, I actually have. I'm very proud of it. Oh, this yeah. is, um, this here is, is the Prince George um, to Boston Marathon. It was the very first marathon that Terry did. And um, it was, he, he, I can't remember how long he came in after um, the last runner, but this was another, this is, you know, the Terry Fox runs are, n are not competitive at all. And, and this was probably the first time that Terry said, it didn't matter how long it took him, what mattered was that he finished. So, and then shortly after he told my parents about running across Canada. Wow. And, yeah, and again, this is, uh, as you can see, volleyball. Um, and then this is the start of the Marathon of Hope with Doug and Terry in St. John's. Doug was um, Terry's best friend. And, you know, just there's so many examples that we can learn from Terry, all of us, all, of all ages. But one thing that I find remarkable is the friendship that they had. Mm -hmm. There's not very many people, I think, that um, would have devote, given up their lives and, and gone with somebody, not knowing what, you know, laid ahead of them. So... It's just an amazing story of how two people, you know, their crowds passed in grade eight, and years later, Doug accompanied Terry. So these are all just some photos of the Marathon of Hope. Um, that's my brother Fred on the left-hand side. He had gone uh, somewhere in Ontario, I believe, to see, to visit Terry. Okay. We, we, yeah. And this, again, is in Ontario. Terry joking around again. <laughs> And somebody, I think this one was in Quebec, so these are a bit out of order, but this fella uh, wrote a song for Terry. Oops, I think I passed one there, but um, just on the road. Blue Jays game. Yeah, these are just some photos that we have found. Great. And then, yeah. Well, so... Gee, I guess if people want to get in touch with you or donate, they can do so with this information here. And uh, yes. for this clip, we really appreciate your time and your pictures. And uh, know there's a, a lot of support for the Terry Fox organization. Thanks for being here today. Oh, thank you so much, Sean, for having me.